you can see we went through a lot and now you're here and, and at that point maybe you want to ask yourself why are you here and why are you considering this but regardless as you can see this is a farm back chainsaw it's made by neotech uh, i do have a neotech bar on it but essentially this is a still ms380 or a still ms381 magnum um, that was originally a European saw. It was never sold in this country. Uh, there are some here, but they were imported through gray markets and things like that. But regardless, essentially this is a still MS380 and Farmac calls it the F380, which is also similar to the Neotech NS872i. Uh, I know that there's a lot of numbers and a lot of letters, just remember, still MS380, still MS381. Same saw, made in China, probably an original still, had a lot of Chinese parts in it too. I know that's probably gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings. Face it, your shoes, your phone, probably some of the noodles, I guarantee you some of the noodles in your cupboards are from China. Face it, it's reality, get over it. You're not that special, neither am I. Anyway, back to the chainsaw. So it's the Farmac F380. Uh, this is the V version, which is the uh, advanced version. Uh, there is another F380. Uh, it is slightly different and less expensive, but let me give you some highlights about this. 
is 72 cc's, just like the NS872, just like the Steel MS380 and MS381. Some different things than the previous versions like the NS872 and the NS872i Neotech. Um, this version of the Farmac F380, again, lots of numbers, lots of letters. Just remember, still MS380, still MS381, Magnum and it's the same saw, basically. So uh, the new version comes with some upgraded components and those components are a magnetized flywheel, which will help with mechanical torque, essentially which will help keep rotating. Easier if you like to look, run in low RPM, which you shouldn't on a two stroke, you should run three quarter or higher RPM. That's how they get their power and their lubrication. They will gum up from slurry and soot, things like that when you run them low RPM. Also comes with an upgraded Japanese Walbro carburetor. A lot of the rubber components are from Taiwan and like with the elastomer that's in the pull start handle, um, I think that some of the dampening is the same rubber also, again from Taiwan. The crank is imported from Taiwan. The ignition is made and imported from Italy, I believe. And finally, NGK spark plug. If you don't like NGK, NGK spark plugs, then uh, you're missing out. NGK has been making the best spark plugs for many decades. Again, that is some of the improvements that are on this. Not just that, but th that's a lot of the improvements. A lot of things that I like about it is, you know, the embossing that they have on the uh, clutch cover. That's really nice. Uh, it, it's just an added touch instead of a sticker. You've also got a, uh, a name plate that's actually riveted on, and it's on the top plate here. It's also on the pull cover on this side too. Uh, it's just got some nice finishing touches that they haven't had before and a lot of other manufacturers don't have either. You do, you do get that pretty much standard, not on all steel, not on all Husky, but it does come on them. But they really have upped their game. Uh, I have the NS872, which is right here. I traditionally use that a lot for rounding and bucking. Uh, I have used it for felling trees a lot too. Um, this saw right here, it's been broke in, been ran about an hour and a half, a tank and a half of fuel is what it's been ran. Um, this bar and chain actually came off our NS872 that we've been using. But uh, like I said, this is a new saw, new color, basically the Farmac, the Pro Series, that's what this color is all about. It signifies the difference between the two, the Neotech and the Farmac. Um, Typically, this is what you will get with a toolkit that comes with it, which is some pretty handy things for assembly and disassembly of the actual saw or a piece of two-stroke equipment or maybe even a four-stroke equipment. But a lot of these tools, you know, are specific to this saw. Um, when you compare this to the steel MS380 or the steel MS381, you know, you're still looking well over $1,000 if you can get it. Um, that's that's the thing that you got to consider ask yourself why do you need this at the same time ask yourself why do you need to spend so much money if you have let me give you some advice if you've got a piece of two stroke equipment or a piece of four stroke equipment it doesn't matter which one you've got to take care of it and if you don't take care of it you're gonna have to pay somebody to take care of it that means a lot money is a big deal especially today and everybody knows what I'm talking about Farmac and Neotech, the same company, they make possibilities happen for you to be able to do some of the work that you need to do. They let you do it at a lower cost. 
I don't work for Farmac. I don't work for Neotech. Yes, they send us equipment for us to do some reviews on and things like that. And we do that in the trade office. We, we use their equipment. But having said all of that, if I didn't have that opportunity, I'd be buying it anyway, whether it be Farmac or Husqvarna or Steel or whatever. <laughs> you can see now what this Farmac F380 slash steel MS380 steel MS381 Magnum can do. I originally tuned this thing and this is the first time it's ever cut wood but when I tuned it you know this thing is supposed to be rated to around 13,000 rpm and I actually turned it to uh, 14,000 rpm and uh, Needless to say, it'll go a little bit further than probably what you need to, so I actually backed it down to about 12.5. But anyway, uh, I hope this gives you an idea of what this thing is bone stock. Um, it does have a new chain on it. That is an old bar, but uh, it does have a new chain on it. And uh, other than, you know, tuning it for RPM, there's been no other adjustments made to the carburetor. I didn't, I didn't tune the low end on it. Haven't tuned the idle on it but uh it runs really really strong it runs really really well old white oak log and white oak is one of the most robust um, rot resistant woods out there but uh cuts really well i can't say enough about neotech and farmac their equipment for for somebody that needs something on a budget and for somebody that you know doesn't mind not having a name brand saw um, you can't go wrong with them and if you're on that high horse about made in china start changing your clothes and your shoes and your phones and then we can talk again about it but otherwise uh yeah that's it you can see this thing runs pretty good um i'm pretty impressed with it and again it's based on the steel ms380 steel ms381 but it also this is an upgrade of neotech's version of the ns872 and the neotech ns872i and uh I can say I've got the 872, and the 872 runs real well, and this does run substantially better. So I'm going to go ahead and end it right now. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, thanks for giving us a thumbs up. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for commenting, good or bad. It doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, if you comment below, you know, I'll get to back to them, or Melissa will get back to them as soon as we can. Uh, we'll link, leave a link down in, the, down in the description how you can get a hold of these things. 
And uh, you can check out their website at neotechworld.com. Uh, they've got a couple of Facebook groups also. Thanks for watching. Dean, you take care, buddy. And uh, all you other fellows out there and ladies, y'all take care. Y'all take care too. We'll see you later. Got to do something about these ants.